Hey everyone, welcome to another quick episode of the 2021 Track 350Z Rebuild. I thought I'd throw out another quick episode, even though not a lot has been happening. I kind of like including this outdoor scenery because it helps document the passage of time. Plus, I just think it's pretty cool. So now you can see it's summer. Things are a lot greener than when we started. So we have the Corvette Z06. It has uh, cams, heads, it's got a ton of power. Um, then you have the 350Z, which is kind of stalled. Last weekend, I did drive this Honda Civic. It uh, is an eighth gen SI and it is prepped for endurance racing. Uh, that video is up on the channel, but not a lot of people watch that kind of stuff. So if you wanna see some more content on maybe testing the Civic or endurance racing, let me know. Maybe I'll post some more. I also did test the Corvette Z06 at the track. Um, it has tremendous straight line speed, but it needs new tires. Um, it needs brake pads, it needs rotors, it needs brake fluid because its stopping power is not very good relative to its horsepower. So I haven't really posted about the Corvette yet because I also just figured um, people really don't care. The analytics on the Corvette stuff is really low. People only want to see 350Z stuff. So um, yeah, we're waiting on the engine build. So I've sort of slowed down on ordering parts because it's kind of pointless without the engine. Got a lot of stuff sort of stacked up here, ready to go on. When it's done, it will be fast. The 350Z is still faster than the Corvette. The Corvette, it uh, might get called in. If I, get, if I lose patience with the 350Z timeline, I might order those simple parts for the Corvette and send it in to see uh, what kind of fun we can have with it. But really, I'm still focused on the 350Z. It is quicker on the track. It has uh, better parts for it right now. So I don't have to worry about it so much. So we can see some front lower arm bushing kits for the, for the front end suspension. Uh, like I said, most of my bushings are um, OEM. They're soft and squishy. I can feel the car wallowing around on track. So these SPL parts will help. Compression rod bushing kit. Or I'm holding up the uh, part numbers for you so you can see which parts I've picked. Rear traction rods with the part number. So the back end is almost all OEM. I only have cheap SPC camber arms on the back. So the goal of ordering all of this is to replace all those OEM arms, save some weight, um, have better geometry, have better travel. Um, this will also save a lot of weight replacing those rear toe arms. And then finally, these are the uh, rear camera arms, which will replace those weak SPC links because I've seen rear SPC links break on track before and almost send cars into the wall. So the engine, we're waiting on that. Hopefully we get some updates on that soon. I would really like to drive the 350Z this year. If the 350Z takes too long, I might get bored and throw the Corvette in there, but the Corvette needs a few parts too. So that's it for this week. I hope you like the small update. I've got the part numbers on there if you want to see what I've ordered. And if you have any questions about any of those cars, let me know. Drop them in the comments. I'll see you next time.